Hello, my name is Jordan and I work in developer relations at PubNub. Today, I want to show off my real-time chat room that I created in Unity 3D and using the PubNub API. So to get started, I'm going to send a chat message and I'm going to say hello world and I'm going to click the submit button. And as you'll notice on both devices here in both screens, you'll see that that hello world message appeared in real time on the other screen. And we can do the same thing here. Let's have Bob send one, two, three, one, two, three. And you'll notice on both of these screens, it showed up in real time. And if I refresh this, this one of these windows, it'll actually load up the last 13 messages that have been sent on the channel. So it actually pulls the message history and is able to display that on the screen in real time as well. So let's look at our Unity project so that I can show you how I actually coded this application. So we have the main camera and we have different fonts, buttons, and things assigned to different objects in the send message script. And then we have a canvas element, which actually is set to scale with the screen size. So our reference resolution is 720 by 1280. And I want this to match the width and height of the display. So even if you resize it to different resolutions, it'll scale no matter what. And then we have things like the background, which this entire picture is just, just the background PNG. And you can find these assets in the assets folder here. And so you see the submit buttons an asset, the loading circles an asset, and even the font. And then here is the PubNub uh, API. And this includes a bunch of different folders. Luckily, you don't have to touch any of this. All you have to do is go to the PubNub website and download this API and then include it in your project. And when you first include the PubNub API, you might have to go to General and Test Runner and make sure that Play Mode and Edit Mode are enabled. Um, and you can find the full tutorial about how to set this up on our PubNub blog. But you'll also see that we have a script section which has the send message script and the loading circle script and then the one singular scene that's in our project. So let's check out the loading circle script first. This is a very simple one. Essentially, we set a fixed rotation speed and every time the frame is updated, we basically rotate the circle around uh, based off the delta time and that's the little loading circle that you see here. But the most important thing, and this is what we wanna get into, is how do I actually send messages across devices over the internet in real time? And it's actually incredibly easy with PubNub. And we've made this super simple to implement with Unity, so you should be able to do this yourself in your own Unity project. Essentially, we include PubNub API, and then we basically instantiate the public class, which is JSON information, which is where we're gonna store the username and the text. Uh, for when we actually send these messages out. And so the send message class is all of this and below. And we start off the, cl the class by instantiating some variables and some counters. And we also create a chat message queue so that we can iterate through all of the messages um, that are displayed on the screen. A queue, you can think of it almost like a line. If there's 10 people in the line to, to get into the club, and the person in the first spot of the line gets in to the club, now there's only nine people in the line. But let's say one more person comes into the line, they're gonna be added to the end of the line, while the person that was second in line is now the first person in line. And so queues are a really cool data structure model in C Sharp that, that make it really, really easy to make chat rooms. Um, and so this is what we used for the project. And so you can find this on the Microsoft documentation if you wanna learn more about queues. So now that we've basically created the queue, um, once the, the, the scene actually loads up in the start function, we first initialize PubNub using, using our publish and subscribe keys. And these keys, you can find them on the PubNub, PubNub admin dashboard, and you're gonna have to insert your own keys and then basically add a listener to the submit button in our Unity project here. And when the submit button is pressed, we are, we're gonna call the task on click function. The task on click function is gonna be down here at the bottom on line 163. Essentially the task on click, what it does is it grabs the information in the username and the text input field, which you can find this, this, these here. So this is the username field and this is the text field. So it grabs that information from those fields and it in, inserts it into a JSON string. And then that JSON string is sent over the PubNum network. 
and it's sent on the channel chat channel three. And then what we do is we actually reset the input field so that no, there's no string in the input field. So this is actually where we send the message out to the PubNum network so that all the devices can receive that message in real time. So let's go back up to the top. So now that we've assigned the listener to the button, let's grab the history of what messages were sent on the channel before we've loaded up the application. So essentially we wanna grab the last 13 messages that were sent on the chat channel three channel. And if there's an error, um, let's print out the error. However, if there isn't an error, let's iterate through using a for each loop. Let's iterate through all of the previous messages that were sent. And for each message that was sent, let's grab the, uh, basically the string out of it and let's create the chat. And so we're gonna pass this JSON information, which includes the username and the text object, which you can find here, right? Username and text, this is the JSON information. So we're gonna send that info to the create chat function. And then this counter is actually what's, it's being used to for the positioning of the text UI. So essentially if it's below a certain pixel amount, um, move everything up 50 pixels. And so the create chat function, we'll get into this later, but this is essentially how chat messages are displayed on the screen. And so in order to receive these messages, we need to have a pubnub.subscribe function. And this subscribe function listens to a certain channel and then any publish that, that occurs on that channel, it'll call the subscribe callback, which is located here. And in this subscribe callback, what we're doing is we essentially take the payload of the message, which is that JSON information, and we're gonna make put that into the chat message variable. And then we're gonna, once again, create the chat, and then we're gonna sync the chat. So the create chat is what actually displays the message in plain text on the screen. And then this is where we basically remove the first chat from the screen, and then we transform all the messages on the page up to the top. So in the create chat function, we pass the payload, and then we're actually gonna create a string of, called current object, and this is where we're gonna concatenate the payload's username and the payload's text into one object. And so once we get this string, we're gonna assign this string to a game object, the text game object, which is essentially going to um, display that string on the screen. And we do some things to it, like we change the font, change the color, change the font size. And then this is where we actually put the position of the chat object uh, according to the counter. And we assign the size and the scale. And then this is the in queue. So this is part of the queue API. And so we're gonna basically add the game object to the queue of chat messages, and then we're gonna increase the index counter. So in the sync chat function, this is where everything is transformed based off how many messages are in the scene. So if there are more than 14 messages displayed on the screen, let's delete the first message and we're gonna remove it from the queue as well. So let's remove it from the queue and let's destroy that chat message. And then let's move all of the, the remaining chat objects up 50 pixels on the screen. So the, it basically iterates through each one, um, it gets the component, and then it basically assigns an offset and moves each chat message up 50 pixels to make room for the new chat message. And that's essentially it. It's really, really simple. It's less than 200 lines of code, but that's essentially how you can get started making a real-time chat room using PubNub and Unity. So if you wanna learn more, uh, check out pubnub.com and you can download all this code for free on GitHub. It's open source. So definitely check out the tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment uh, down below in the comment section and we'll get back to you to try to help you create your very first real-time PubNub app. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.